Hi friends, it's Laurie here from Lemon Yoga and welcome back to another video with me. Today I'm taking you through a morning prenatal stretch routine. So hit that like button, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family and come and take a seat on your mat. Taking a moment to connect to your breath before we add movement. When you're ready, begin to rock your chin to your chest and slowly rotate the head from side to side. Just thinking about dropping the ear down towards the shoulder, finding some space through the opposite side of the neck. Taking really deep breaths in and out. And take your time with this. And allow the head to settle over to the right hand side. Bring that right hand up and over. Let the left hand rest down. And breathe space all the way through the left side of the neck. Deep breaths in. Exhale, release. Roll all the way over to the other side, to the left. Left hand up and over. And we'll breathe space through the right side of the neck now. Melting that right shoulder further and further down towards the ground. Taking deep breaths in. And out we release. Roll back through centre, sit tall. Inhale, we're going to lift the heart space forwards. Eyes look up. Exhale, round back through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Look down towards baby. Inhale, lift that heart space. Eyes look up. Exhale, round down. Now keep this moving nice and slowly. This is our seated cat-cow. Perfect for waking up through the back of the body, especially if we're feeling stiff in the mornings. All right, fine seated again. And now we'll take that into the whole torso. So we're going to begin to draw really big circles as we roll the whole body forwards and backwards, moving through as much of the body as we can. Keep those sit bones grounded. Let yourself melt. And change direction whenever you're ready. So the whole body really does get a really good wiggle and release here. My favourite one for moving through the spine in pregnancy. Awesome job, guys. Let's wiggle our way back through centre. Sit tall and then reach the arms all the way up overhead. Let hands meet. Exhale all the way down to your heart space. And again, inhale, we rise. Reach the arms up high. Exhale, come on down. And again, inhale, reach the arms up high. And exhale, come all the way down. Sit tall. And then reach that left arm all the way up and over into a nice big side bend. Right hand connects to the ground. Breathe space all the way through the left side of your bump and your body. Taking those deep breaths in. And out, we release, move through centre, take the arms behind you, interlace those fingers and then pull the arms down your back as you lift your heart space forwards. If you can, lift the gaze as well. Feel that lovely stretch all the way through the front of the body, deep breaths in and out, release. Right arm reaching and sweeping up and over into our side stretch on the other side. Resting on the left palm and breathing as much space through the right side of your bump and your body as you can. Keep melting your sit bones down towards the ground. Deep breaths. We release. 
Reach the arms in front of you, interlace those fingers as you press palms away and round through the spine looking down towards baby. So you should end up with a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. Hold it there, breathe deeply. Release and rise on up. All right, come on round now. Let's find all fours. We're going to find tabletop so we can move through our cat stretch. So start with a long flat back and draw your baby bump in towards the spine. Hold it there. Inhale. And exhale round through the spine. Look to baby. That's it. We repeat. Inhale, find length. Engage the core. Exhale round and look to baby. Good, keep that coming in your own time, inhaling to find that length and exhaling to round. Take your time, move gently, move carefully and most importantly move with your breath. That's it. Find length again. Take the knees nice and wide now and sink all the way back into a wide leg child's pose. Feel free to prop yourself up with a great big cushion under the chest or the belly here. Or if you feel comfortable to do so, completely flatten the body towards the ground, extending the arms in front of you. Now press the armpits down towards the mat. Find length all the way through your spine. And breathe space into the hips. You're taking deep breaths in and out. Inhale. Exhale, release. Rise all the way up through all fours. We're going to step our left foot through. Lift and place the right foot to the ground and then walk yourself all the way to standing. You're finding Vera Bhadrasana 1, our warrior 1 position. Keep those hips square towards the top end of the mat and reach the arms up high towards the ceiling. You can keep the legs much closer than I am if this feels too much in the pelvis. You know your body best. Take deep breaths in and out, feeling strong, feeling powerful here. And a big exhale, bring the arms all the way down to the ground or use a block. Place the right knee to the mat, keep that left leg bent. Walk yourself up high and then reach the arms towards the ceiling into your crescent lunge, gently opening through the hips. Breathe space, keep finding length through the sides of the torso. Eyes could slightly look up or you can look forwards or down. Stay with the breath. Let those hips open. Exhale to release, hands to the ground. Wiggle that left foot back and then we'll bring the right foot all the way round and through, land down. Left foot lands on the mat as well and then walk yourself up high, setting yourself up for Virabhadrasana 1. Hips facing the front of the mat, reach the arms up high towards the ceiling or keep them down on your hips if you'd prefer. A nice big bend in that right knee, breathing strength into the body, feeling that deep stretch all the way through the back of the left leg and through the sides of the body. Stay with your breath here. Walk yourself all the way down to the ground, left knee drops, lean onto that right leg as you rise and then sweep the arms up high as you find crescent lunge. The tailbone is tucked under, the glutes are engaged, squeezing the bottom and gently opening through the hips. You're taking really deep breaths in and out. Inhale. 
Exhale to release, come all the way down. And moving now into our yogi squat malasana, you'll need to grab a block or a stack of cushions here to put under the sit bones. The knees are nice and wide, toes angled outwards, hands together in prayer, and the elbows gently pressing those knees open. Now lengthen through your spine and breathe. Breathe space into the hips, the pelvis, the inner thighs, the groin. Stay with your breath. Keep lengthening through the torso. Keep breathing. All right, let's come on out. Well done, everybody. Remove that block or your cushion stack and come to a cross-legged position. We're going to move back through our torso circles or wiggles, rolling the body all the way forwards and backwards just because they are so good to release the spine in pregnancy. Change direction whenever you need to. Breathe deeply. Send breath all the way down to baby. Lovely. And then find stillness in the middle. Inhale to reach, arms up high, hands meet. Exhale to your heart space. Inhale, we reach, stretch. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, reach and stretch. And exhale all the way down to your heart space. Take a moment at the end of our practice to connect to the breath, to connect with your growing baby. Take a moment for just the two or the three of you if you're having multiples. You can even bring one hand onto the belly and one onto your heart space. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I really hope you enjoyed this morning prenatal stretch. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how you got on today and how many weeks pregnant you are. And of course, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps to support my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you stay as long as you need with your breath. And then when you're ready, move gently with the rest of your day. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.